just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. Um, I know I haven't vlogged in a while. I am actually going to show you guys clips so you guys could be caught up on everything that we've been doing. Nothing major is going on. It's just that when something arises in my life, like a problem or issue, I tend to think and focus on that and then I don't vlog and nothing bad happened and maybe I'll share it with you guys later. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But at this time, I'm not going to. But yeah, something just came up and my mind was so focused on that that I don't know. I just didn't have the energy. I did not want to vlog and yeah, so here I am. I don't want the footage to go to waste. So you're going to go and see what we've been up to for the last few weeks. Well, hello ladies. Savannah is actually dyeing a jean jacket that she has. She's dyeing it black. I should have shown them what it looked like before, but she's dyeing it black. What, she look crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. You're sitting there. I can't show you guys them right now. <laughs> and of course, they're doing the most. I wish y'all could see Cheyenne's real personality. Y'all know she don't like being on camera or she's on the camera when she she's feels so like ugly, it. Though. She's not ugly. She's a mess. She's a she's a mess. She really is. Oh. Aren't you, Cheyenne? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to get tired of hearing me talk about my dining room. But anyway, see the space right here? Remember how it's blank and nothing there. Just remember that, okay? Remember it. Oh, so another change I made. Let me turn the light on where it's brighter. I turned the rug around the way it's going to finally stay. Because remember I had it this way because I was testing it out. Because I didn't know if I, when I do get my table, I didn't know if I wanted to have it go that way or this way. I'm just going to keep it this way because now that I have the, um, I call it a buffet table, even though it's technically not a buffet table, but it is a buffet table. So now that I have the buffet table there and the end table over there, it looks a whole lot better. Ignore that. Ignore that. That's the church equipment. Like I told you guys, we take it to and from church because we don't have our own church building right now. We're in a hotel using one of their ballrooms or conference rooms, whatever you want to call it like that. So anyway, what was I saying? Getting off topic. Oh yes, ignore those because those are not going to stay there. Actually, when I get my table in there, Cheyenne, I don't even know where I'm going to put this. What? The church equipment. I would say Tariq's a mess. Yeah, Tariq's room's a mess. <laughs> in here. I know. And I'm going to get something, I know I told you guys that, something to go up there on that ledge. So, yeah. I'm loving this, you guys. It looks really good. I should have did like a big reveal. And not show you guys anything and just, when I got everything, just reveal it to you guys. But I don't know. I just felt like showing you guys. So, it's time to take my vitamins. Y'all, I hate these big old huge calcium pills. Look how big they are. They are huge. And I take four to six a day because my calcium could run really low at any time because when I had my thyroid taken out, apparently it affects it affects it affects your calcium level. So yeah. And normally with pills, I'm able just to throw them all in my mouth and take them. Not these ones. These are like horse pills. Oh my goodness. All right, let me finish taking these. We're watching Fractured on Netflix. This movie is good, y'all. It's suspenseful. Y'all should go see it. And let me know what you think about it. Okay, so Fractured. Fractured. Not Fracture. Fracture. 
Okay. With a D. Fracture with a D <laughs> on Netflix. That movie was so good. Um, I'm not going to say any spoilers or anything like that, but it's so good. You guys should go watch it. Don't tell them what's going on. So anyway, just watch that. And now we are watching Mute on Netflix. And it actually just started. So we pause it. Well, Savannah paused it because she's getting something to eat. Ooh, I'm getting tired all of a sudden. Are you tired? So it's 3.30 a.m. Yes, I'm up. So the power's out in our neighborhood. I'm already having a rough night of sleep. And now this, and you guys see the light from my laptop. Anyway, yeah, I should just go to bed, but it's really hot now that the lights are not on and I can't turn the fan on. So, my goodness, you guys. Yeah. So, we're sitting here in the dark. Boston, be quiet. I have to put him in the crate. Doesn't hear you. What? Because we can't see him. Because, because we him. can't see him, exactly. And he can't see anything. Well, dog's eyes are better than ours. So, mm -hmm. and Savannah's in here with me as well. So, but no, Cheyenne and Tariq are still they asleep. They never wake up. They the lights yeah. I'm always the one up. When the lights well, go out, angry, but... when the lights go out, no matter what, Savannah is always the first one to come in my room. Because it get quiet. <laughs> but and then you... Tariq and Cheyenne are asleep. Okay, I need to go to I need, we need to go to bed, Savannah. At least I do. So I called Smud, and it's affecting over a thousand homes. Estimated time for it to come back on 5 a.m. It's 338. So I just went ahead and I set my alarm on my phone and I need to go to bed. Good morning, official good morning. I'm so tired, you guys. I don't know what time I got back to bed or to sleep, but I'm exhausted, need coffee. Good morning. Yes, so tired, you guys. I don't even know how I'm gonna make it today. I don't know what time I ended up falling back to sleep, but it seemed like I just blinked and it was time to get up. So when the lights came back on, I don't even know what time it was, but everything came on. It's so weird because in my room, when power comes back on, my light will come on, my overhead light that's attached to my fan. Regardless of whether it was on or off, it will come back on. So when the lights did come back on, I'm like, okay, I didn't even look and see what time it was because I was so tired. And Savannah was laying down in my bed. So she was like, Mom, the lights are back on. I'm like, I know. And so I didn't even get up. The lights were on until my alarm on my phone went off because if I didn't set the alarm on my phone, I wouldn't have woke up on time. So when there is a power outage, I immediately wake up. I don't know what is it what it is about it or no I actually do so you know how electricity has a hum so when the power goes out things go silent and I think that's why I wake up because I cannot sleep in complete silence and I know you guys are probably like what is she crazy yeah no if it's completely silent I can't sleep and I think that's the reason why I have the TV on low in the background or my fan, at least my fan on. My TV doesn't have to be on even though I sleep my TV on, but at least the fan on. So it has to have some kind of noise in the background. But even like, I don't know, electricity just have, has a hum, even the lights. So I don't know, I just, every time the lights go off, I sleep, um, I wake up immediately. And Savannah always comes out of her room, no matter what, she's the, her and I are the only one that's, ones that are up when the light power goes off. The other two are sleeping through it. But no, me and Savannah, we wake up. Oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna need two of these, y'all, to make it through the day. That's so good. So I'm in class. This is day two of them being in to learn their vitals. And I'm seriously falling asleep. I've graded their homework. I've gone through everything I need to prepare for like class tomorrow and I'm falling asleep you guys so tired I cannot wait to go home I'm so bored I made plans to run some errands after work and I'm so exhausted you guys 
I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna dive into bed. I'm so tired. I am working through my lunch so I can leave 30 minutes early because I have that option. So yeah, I, I had to pull out the camera and talk to you guys because I'm literally falling asleep doing my work. I'm in line for Starbucks and if you're wondering why am I getting Starbucks and I'm tired and I wanna take a nap, true. But coffee doesn't affect me. I can drink it before bed and go right to sleep. Except, there's one thing that I cannot drink and go to bed. It will keep me up all night. Um, it's the Dutch Bros. Hold on, you guys. Okay, there I am. It's the Dutch Bros Americano. Oh my goodness. One time I had it at like 6 in the evening. And I... I think I was up to like three and I could not sleep at all. So that's the only one that affects me, but I want to try the the pumpkin cold brew. Did I say that? Well, check it out, you guys. I have not tried it yet, but this is it. And we'll see how it takes. I'll let you guys know. So I made it home and I actually been sipping a little bit before I got home, but I wanted to wait to stir it up really good. And I just did that because we all know that Starbucks coffee, they buy pretty much near burnt or burnt um, coffee beans. So that's the reason why they foo foo it up. So I stirred it up and this is definitely not for a person who likes a little bit of coffee with their creamer. So this is definitely strong. So I'm gonna get a full effect. So I, like I said, I already stirred it. So let me try it with it fully mixed. Okay, so it's not nasty, but would I get it again? Probably not. That's all I have to say about that. So I ended up giving it to Savannah. I will stick to pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin frappuccino, stuff like that. But the cold brew, this one was not for me. Apparently Savannah's a more of a coffee drinker than I am because she was like, ooh, this is good. No, it's not. Have you guys tried it? Tell me what you think, honestly. So it is midnight. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do when I came home. I showered, I ate dinner, and I went to bed. I'm so tired, you guys, still. I don't know, I have been taking my iron pill, so I don't know why I'm so tired like this. I feel really exhausted. Um, my blood levels and everything are okay, so I don't know, but I'm gonna go back to bed. Hello, it is Wednesday. I'm home from work. So you guys, remember when I told you to remember that wall, how plain it was and that nothing was there? I don't want you guys to see it yet. But remember when I told you guys, remember the wall, remember the wall? Well, I wanna show you what's there now. I am so in love with it. I really, really like this little area. My dining room is coming along so well and I love it. Ready, ready? Here we go. So. I got all this on Amazon, this bench right here from Amazon and then the pillow covers I got from Amazon and all of these pictures, the 12 pictures, they came together all from Amazon and it all has like a European, Mediterranean, French vibe to it that goes with the French script on here, the Eiffel Tower and on here and of course on my um, countertop right here so yeah you guys it's turning out really well and I just got to break these boxes down because I got these this is what the bench came in and this is what the other stuff came in so yeah and that's gonna stay right there it's not meant to sit down the yellow gives it a pop of color that this room actually needs because the yellow sunflower right there and when I get my table some of the stuff on the table is going to be yellow as well um, I am going to get a different vase for this this was just something temporary until I find something I really like to put here so yeah that's going to be changed but I do need to incorporate yellow at least one thing of yellow over here to give it that pop of color as well so you guys tell me what do you think what do you think of my little corner 
it's not even a corner it's just it's there but I love it so let me let you see the pictures one at a time I really like that bike and I like the balcony and I like that chair and table I like them all and then there's steps that one says via Roma and then there and then the what do you call those the gondolas is that gondolas in the picture right there and then of a street lamp and then of a building so yeah I'm really liking this this turned out really well I like it so much still don't know what to do with that but I'm not giving it away of course or anything like that so yeah you guys tell me what you think of this little area so I wanted to show you guys this it came with black and white photos in the frame but also they sent the same pictures but in color and even though it's really nice I really like the bike even though it's nice in color I think black and white goes better in my dining room that's why I kept it in there so I don't know what to do with these and of course you can take the black and white pictures out and you don't have to use either you could put your own photos up there or just whatever so just wanted to show you guys everyone in color I really like that yeah but I like the black and white better for my dining room I think it just goes better isn't that pretty it's really pretty okay and they gave you this also it's like a guide to hang your pictures I'm not gonna open it up because it's like really huge but everywhere that they're showing here it's like we're saying hang up the um, picture and there's 12 of them and I didn't do it this way because as you can see it leaves a huge space in between and the wall over there is not that big that's why I put them all together like it is so yeah you guys I'm very very pleased Good morning, everyone. it is Friday look at me look how I look I went to bed without my scarf on and look this is the reason why I am not going back to her. If y'all hear that I went back to my old hairstylist, when I get my hair done again, say something in the comments. Be like, girl, you know better. Who told her to cut this short? Who told, who told her to cut this like this? I'm looking like Harpo Marx. This is not okay. No. I'm not going back to her. I'm not. I won't do it. Anyway, what am I saying? This makes me so mad. Why would you cut this short like this? Who who does that? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm so mad. There ain't nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I can take it down, but it's like wasting my money. Oh, this makes me so mad. Anyway, today is Friday on a happy note. And getting ready for work. So today, remember how last month we took the we I took the kids on a field trip to the dental um, that dental society not dental society but the medical and dental museum well I'm taking these students there again today um, not again but I'm taking them there today because it's part of their um, curriculum to go to the museum so just like last time, we'll meet at the school and then they have to drive their own selves. They can't ride in my car and then we'll meet there. So you guys, so with the school, I don't know if it's different because it's a college or whatever, but I know it's not like elementary school or high school, but I think if they require you because the field trip is a requirement they have to go I mean put it this way I have to take them they don't show that's on them but um, if the school is requiring you to be somewhere then they should provide transportation that's what I think it is just here oh my gosh this is so ridiculous I'm so mad it's my own fault it's my own fault I should have waited I really should have waited. So, no, I wanted my hair done on Saturday because I had my mind said that I was gonna get my hair done on Saturday. Never again. This is not okay. Anyway, 
All right, let's get going. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. I am so tired. You guys know I say that all the time. I did not pick up the camera to vlog at all this weekend. Um, I had a busy weekend running errands. Um, had a birthday party to go to for a kid at church. And it was just crazy busy. Yeah, I just, I just did not even pick up the camera. Um, I feel my body trying to get sick, but because I'm on the go, it's not, I'm not getting sick, but I feel it coming on. And yeah, I got McDonald's coffee this morning. So this is the last week for my new set of students. Um, this is the last week in their module, so they're going to be testing and stuff like that. Also this week, you guys, will actually today, there is an instructor who has been here for a while, but I guess she is not really, I guess she, her class starts at 8 right now, and so she's always late. And I know things happen sometimes, but if you're being an example to students and telling them to be on time, then you should be on time. So she's always late. And even, excuse me, even when she had a 9 o'clock class and a 10 o'clock class, from what I was told, because I'm like one of the new instructors here. There's one, two, three under me. That No, three, not under me, but three that were hired after me. So I'm still new. But anyway, I, we were told all this, that um, even when she had a 10 o'clock class start time, she still came in late. And so when even when she was there, she's not really, I want to say helpful. She knows her stuff. She's a good instructor because she has actually helped me in my lab in the last module when I had 14 students I had a really huge class and so she was able to come in and help me so yeah so she's good when she's there but she's kind of lazy and sloppy with things and they've given her so many warnings so many warnings you guys and it's so awkward because we all know and she's getting her final check today because pay period ended on Friday so yeah, she's an example to all of us new instructors of what not to do. And oh, and, and another thing, she always calls in. So <laughs> even though I feel like I'm sick and I don't want to be there, I'm not calling in. I mean, I know there's probably going to be a day where I'm sick and it's like, hey, I can't come in. But not today. Not today. Because I want my job. Good morning, everyone. I don't even know what today is. What is today? Today is... Wednesday and I actually was already at work and I was getting out my car and I realized I left my keys at home and by keys I mean my work keys I don't keep it on my same key as my regular keys so I called my boss and she's understanding she's like no go get your keys because my keys not only opens up the dental doors but all the cupboards we keep those locked and then my cubicle my desk um that's locked so i have to go back home and get my keys and yeah well i'm trying to make a mad dash home to go grab my keys and that way hop in the car i probably should have savannah just run them out to me that way i can won't have to get out the car but yeah that's how my morning is starting ignore my bad handwriting this is me i have to prepare my board every morning so i'm just getting started okay guys so thank you so much for watching you are now caught up so the next video you will see will be up to date please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video